Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you may be. It's like a Warlord, the stash. Hello, everyone. Back with some Moonville. Let's go. All right, so last time I made a video about carbon fiber. I was making carbon fiber, but I was also making other things. Now I have made it so that I am just making carbon fiber. Uh, carbon fiber is the equivalent of uniforms in Townstar. Uh, instead of a factory, a, a fabric plant, we've got a matter factory. Same thing. It requires moon fiber strains, carbon, and uh, to make carbon fiber. So you see we have three moon fiber strains, two carbon, and four power. So that is different than what we have in Townstar. Uh, uniforms need three energy, uh, three cotton yarn, and one wool yarn. But here we have three moon fiber strains, which is the equivalent of cotton, uh, two carbon, and four power. So it actually needs one extra power and one extra carbon. Now that said, the difference between uh, wool yarn and carbon is that carbon just needs star steel and ingots. So it still need, it needs two power instead of one. Uh, both uh, moon fiber strains and carbon require. Let me see if I find one. Uh, there we go. Moon fiber strains require two power, four moon fiber, and two ingots. Uh, so you do need more items to make them than you do in Townstar. Uh, it does need two power or energy versus just one. Uh, six star steel, which is wood, and two ingots, which is lumber. So essentially, carbon doesn't need wool anymore, or doesn't need wool like wool yarn does. So as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of star steel mines. Now, one thing I would do is uh, I just had it refresh. If your page refreshes and you've got generators or power plants, make sure you come back in and turn them off. Turn the produce off because it'll auto start on uh, refresh. They haven't fixed that bug yet. But one thing I did is, I mean, obviously I made a bunch of star steel mines, right? So I come in here and I watch them and I see, okay, this still says ready, right? I don't see them picking it yet. So if I see some that haven't been plucked, one thing I can do is uh, demo them and rebuild them because uh, there is kind of a bug where things get lost in the AI list of things and they don't get picked. So notice here, these three still haven't been picked yet. So let's see if anybody grabs one. Nope, they haven't grabbed it yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to demo these and put some new ones down. And hopefully that will pluck them uh, and make, th make them get picked. So Star Steel Mines are picked by Forger Hubs. Also, that would be the same thing as a uh, Lumberjack or a Logger. So click Star Steel Mine, Star Steel Mine, and Star Steel Mine. Another bug they have that hasn't been fixed yet is if it says done for too long and you click on it, it won't actually allow you to build it. Another issue we're having is random squares having way too much time. Notice how these two are really high, and they shouldn't be. There's nothing uh, preventing these. These should be the fastest timer. Um, so you have to be on the lookout for that. Uh, realistically, I could probably just demo it and not really notice a big difference, but for the sake of my beautiful build, we're going to leave it there. Um, notice that these star stills are not getting picked. We're going to wait and see if these get plucked. If they do, we won't delete them. See, that one got picked. Um, you basically want to make sure that all of these are being used. Notice these two in the corner are, but these don't seem to be. So we'll come here and check. That one got picked. So it's good. Um, there's no visual uh, evidence that the, the mine is ready, which is kind of unfortunate. You know, like, for instance, here with the moon fiber fields, you can see when they're ready, right? There's a visual difference. Um, hopefully they'll change that in the future. Uh, what I am going to do is delete one of these botanist hubs and put another uh, forger in because if all of these are popping the way they're supposed to be, uh, they're up. See how that one was actually good to go. Um, they don't cost anything to, to replace, so it's not like the end of the world if I demo one. Um, do, do Would I recommend coming in here and redoing all of them every time? Probably not, but... Uh, you know, it is something to consider uh, right now while they're still working out bugs that you make sure that all of your uh, items are, are being actually collected properly. So again, I got these in the corner. I haven't been gotten grabbed yet, but we're going to wait and see. Uh, I've got a couple more right here up in the front. See how these are showing 36? There's timers that are off that, that, that shouldn't be. 
Um, that one's 73. I'm not too sure why that is. I don't know if the game's thinking there's an issue there. or it, I have everything perfectly laid out, so there should be no uh, proximity effects affecting anything. But uh, it is what it is. So, again, to make carbon fiber, I need carbon and moon fiber uh, strains. Excuse me. Moon fiber uh, strains, yeah. So, I have moon fiber fields. Those need three moon dew. And then I've got my star steel mines, which need seven moon dew. So you notice I have some moon drops fields in here. I have more than I probably need because there have been some bugs with uh, the, the moon dew not showing properly. I have a river edge on this bottom part and this part. Those should be providing five passive moon dew, four, three, two, and one. And with that math, these should all have enough. Um, but it's like I had to add this one in and this one in. It's a couple, couple things off. But uh, again, I mean, uh, the, the biggest issue we faced was the rollbacks. Now that that's been sorted, uh, it's, everything's a lot nicer. So basically, I have a bunch of forgers uh, and a bunch of ingot crafters. So ingot crafters are lumber mills from Townstar. And uh, I've only got one, um, one metal yard, which is the equivalent of a lumber yard in Townstar. And if you put more than a couple, there seems to be a bug with the storage uh, I did have to make two store more hauls because uh, to be able to store 10 carbon fiber and possibly 10 or more of carbon and moon fiber strains, I needed to have that overflow. And they both store 20 each. So I basically have 40 storage for those items. Uh, light shards are just being made by this uh, dark converter and this dark converter. I have a bunch of power generators out here providing the passive power that's needed for... Um, needed for my moon fiber strains. Now, what I will probably do, if you notice, I have, a, I have an abundance of carbon and abundance of moon fiber strains. So what I would probably do is add in another um, matter factory here and see how it's getting four power. You need four power to make carbon. So I'm probably going to add this one in and hopefully... Uh, that will help balance and, and bring it down. You don't want to have all this extra stock, right? That means that there's there's an inefficiency or deficiency somewhere. Um, if I try to put one here, it wouldn't get the four energy it needs, I believe. It would only get two, uh, two energy there. And that would be enough for carbon or for moon fiber strains, but it wouldn't be enough for carbon fiber. Um, the plan with this build is going to be to switch it over to just carbon, I believe, at some point. Um, we look at our trophy right here. We still got a, a, uh, one day and 20 hours left before the server resets. When the server resets, we're all going to have to start over, and uh, it's all good. Uh, I'm slowly creeping up in the top three here. Let's see if I can make a final push to get in the top three before this ends. Not that it matters. It's just for bragging rights, but, you know, I claim to know what I'm talking about, and sometimes it's nice if I can actually show that, right? As you can see here, I've got my construction site starting to go. Um, if they fix the storage bugs, a lot of things will change. I'd probably add in some more storage uh, so that I have places closer to where they're all at. So things uh, can obviously shift around, but this should give you a general idea. Uh, generators, are also known as power plants, require a moon dew pump and a highway node to be built. So you notice I always have a moon dew pump where I've got a generator. And those are all providing the passive energy or power I need to not only do my light shard production, but to also do my ingots. All of these ingots crafters right here, I've got a whole bunch of them. Ingots crafter, ingots crafter. These are all ingots crafters right here surrounding this little this little group of people. I wish they, they looked a little bit different. It's really hard to kind of tell the buildings apart. Uh, I also have some more ingots crafters uh, right here. So ingots crafter, ingots crafter, ingots crafter, ingots crafter. Uh, they need one passive moon dew orb, so that's why I only have them around a moon dew pump. Otherwise, I just have a bunch of them everywhere. And instead of having to have a balance issue in my Stormore Hall with moon dew orbs, you want to make sure that you always have everything passively powered or provided if you can. So I'm going to shut up now, and I'm going to click this blank spot. If you guys want to take a picture of this or screenshot it so you guys can see the layout, um, I would give you the code for Cool Whip. Uh, so that you can see it, but I, I think it's probably just better if you guys uh, look. So again, right here in this section, these are all ingots crafters. Ingots crafters have this little awning right here. That's kind of the way to tell. All these bubble domes are all matter factories. Everywhere that I've got four 
power, I have them doing carbon fiber. Everywhere else, they're doing moon fiber strains um, and carbon. Uh, I would try and count for you how many I've got. Uh, but think of it this way. If you look at what is required for carbon fiber, right? It needs three moon fiber strains to two carbon. So you want to have a three to two ratio between the matter factors you have making moon fiber strain and carbon. So if you've got, uh, let's say, what, six and four, that would be ten, right? Let's say you have ten matter factories. You would want six of them doing um, moon fiber strains and, and four of them doing carbon. So just keep that ratio. I don't know how close I am to it. Um, I haven't counted, but I'm pretty close because I've got you know, pretty much an even amount of carbon and moon fiber strains being produced right now. And all I'm waiting for now is uh, this other matter factory. I'm going to throw that in. What I am going to do is turn on one generator real quick and turn off my uh, light, my dark converter so that I can make that one power that I need to finish off this matter factory. All right, I'm going to go ahead and spin this. Click on this dead spot. I'm going to go ahead and spin this. You guys want to take a photo or, again, screenshot. I'm trying not to click. But, yeah, got the layout like this. And... I'll go ahead and spin it again so you guys can see a different angle. Again, these two are rivers, so they give me passive moon dew. Just like in Town Star, the rivers provide passive water, uh, and Moonville provides passive moon dew. And finally, from this angle. Now, if I've got workers going to sleep, that means there's not enough work for them. So, something to consider if you see them going to sleep, you can demo them and put another worker. Don't be afraid to play around. Just like with Townstar, Moonville requires you to balance. Constantly be balancing, checking. Obviously, we're balancing and worrying about uh, worrying about issues with the bugs and stuff. But other than that, it just boils down to checking your resources, seeing how much you've got. Always making sure you have enough money to pay for your workers, because if you don't, they will stop. And again, once we get over all these bugs and storage issues and all that kind of stuff... Things should things should, should change a little bit. Should be a little bit uh, a little bit better, a little bit more um, sensical in the way some things are played. Um, I have all these dark uh, extractors. Do I really need that many? No, because I'm not selling that much. But I have them there in case in this instance, right, where I want to build something and I need to uh, create batteries or power to be able to build them. So all I'm waiting for right now is that one power to be made, and then that will be built and I'm gonna make that carbon fiber and we'll see what happens I'm uh, slowly but surely I'm, I'm going for here we go and winged them let's see if I can get to those guys before this ends um, I hit my goal of making a billion loons which is pretty pretty fun I've never done that before but uh, if you got any questions best place to get a hold of me is on discord down below is my discord server as well as my actual discord name uh, if you want to DM me my DMs are always open um, you can comment down below but that doesn't. I don't always get those notifications, so I don't want you waiting on an answer, especially if it's time sensitive. I've got the old links down below if you want to help me out. It's not okay. I still love all of you. I hope this helps, explains a little bit, and uh, we're going to try some more builds out in the future. I'm also going to do some more, more walkthroughs in the future as well. And I'll try and balance between having really short content and my usual long format. So, I am Lycan Warlord, a stash. I love you all. Take care. Happy Spooktober. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. I want to shout out my Patreons. Patreons from Patreon. And my new YouTube members as well. I got that going. Appreciate all of you. Thank you so very much. Your help has been crucial to keeping me alive and keep streaming and keep helping and hopefully entertaining you along the way. Anything I can do to make it more worth your while, please let me know down below. Also, you can find me on my Discord. I have my Discord server link down below. Patreon link's down below. And then membership should be somewhere around here. Thank you all so very, very much. I really appreciate you. And I look forward to the future. And I hope you will come along for this journey with me. Thank you. Take care.